when it comes to our day to day job as it professionals many times we have to load data from files into database tables and perform validations uh, it can be for data engineers it can be for data scientists it can be for bi developers or analytics engineers even it can be for full stack developers you have to load the data into uh, database tables and then you have to perform validations so that you can take care of other complex tasks that being said uh, let's say you you have a couple of files from which you are supposed to uh, load the data into the tables in that process you are also supposed to create those tables uh, conventionally what we used to do is we used to look at the files and then we used to uh, see if there are headers in the files if there are headers we used to come up with the column names and then we used to specify the data types and many other things and then we used to come up with uh, uh, required ddl statements typically create table statements and then we used to create the tables we used to spend a lot of time in coming up with uh, right statements uh, with the right syntax and also uh, when it comes to uh, specifying the data types specifying the constraints and all it can take its own sweet time now we are in the era of gen ai and it is important for us to how to leverage gen ai and uh, speed up this process uh, for a beginner level resource uh, just to load couple of files into couple of tables uh, just to create tables i'm not even talking about loading data into tables just to create tables it can take anywhere between 2 to 4 hours now with the gen ai it can be sped up to few minutes let's see how we, how it works uh, in action so that you understand uh, then we'll take it further first let me quickly review the files and then uh, uh, i will launch chat gpt and using chat gpt i'll speed up the process of creating the tables here it is very important for you to understand the prompt uh, so that everything works without much challenges uh, i'm going to my file explorer uh, in my home folder let me go to home folder i have a folder called as uh, projects and then i have something called as data then i have car sales you see there are two files one is sales reps data.csv the second one is toyota sales data.csv uh, you can review the data let me say view or let me say show more options and let me click on open with vs code you can see the toyota sales data these are the columns we have and when it comes to sales reps data these are the columns we have now for this if you have to create tables in conventional approach first you have to identify the relationships between the files what is the parent table what is the child table uh, what is the primary key uh then what is the foreign key in child table then you also need to figure out the column names and data types we have header based on the header we should be able to determine column names and based on the values we should be able to determine the data types like that we have to go through the whole nine yards when it comes to uh, coming up with uh, uh, create table statements to just create these two tables yeah i have mentioned to you earlier for beginners it used to take 2 to 4 hours even for experienced professionals it can take anywhere between 30 minutes to 1 hour now let me launch chat gpt and demonstrate how i can actually accelerate and close this in few minutes uh, in this case i am opening my browser and then i am saying chat gpt.com uh, now i haven't logged in yet you can see there is something called as attach files it is saying unavailable uh, only once you log in this will be enabled so let me log in here let me enter the email id and then respect to password now let me click on continue as durga you can see attach files option this is paid version uh, if you are using free version there might be few limitations but with paid version it will work like a charm so here i just have to click on this and then upload from the computer 
let me go to my home folder this pc c drive then users then this one then projects then data then car sales let me select both you see both of them are attached now it is very important for you to come up with accurate prompt so the prompt should go like this uh, i have these sample csv files which doesn't have any confidential data and i am tasked to come up with required create table statements for postgres database so let's see how far it can go uh, if it doesn't meet our expectations we'll improvise further here based on the files provided it should identify the two tables also it should identify what is the parent table what is the child table it should also come up with required create table statements including uh, constraints let's see how far it can go then we'll improvise further now let me hit enter and let's see what happens it is analyzing the data on top of whatever i have explained it should also identify the data types properly even it should identify the constraints properly for example commission percentage is nullable when it comes to toyota sales data but remaining are typically not nullable but here it didn't specify null anywhere so we are good to go when it comes to email it have identified it is unique and it have come up with unique constraint now let's see whether there is foreign key constraint you can see when it comes to sale rep id uh, it is considered to be a foreign key column to rep id in sales reps data and you can see everything as per the expectations okay but let's uh, review the column names so that uh, we are sure the create table statements are as per the expectations when i say column names i am referring to the column names in the files uh, i will uh, review for sales reps data and i will leave it as an exercise for you to review the other data set in case if you want to review now let me open with uh, visual studio code you can see sales reps data you can see the call names the call names are as per the expectations uh, you can see here the id first name last name email phone number uh, high date uh, region status high date is of type date so and so forth so within just a few minutes we are able to come up with these create table statements without any issues now we should be able to copy this and then go to our postgres database we have to choose right database and click on query tool uh, now let's paste this let's run this you can see this have ran successfully now let's pick the other create table statement also which is nothing but this one now let's go to postgres database once again and then run it you can see even this table is created as per the expectations now you should be able to expand schemas here and then go to public and then expand tables you should be able to see these two tables toyota sales data and sales reps data as of now we haven't populated data into these tables hence they will be empty this is how using chat gpt you can achieve whatever you need in quick turnaround time for 2 to 4 hours uh, we can cut down easily to 1 to 5 minutes that being said make sure you use chat gpt with caution don't use it as a a supplementary tool for you you should use it as a complementary tool in this case because i am familiar about uh, sql i am able to quickly review to confirm if everything is as per the expectations or not also if it is not meeting my expectations i can improvise my prompts and i can uh, uh, get the results which i am looking for that being said i hope you like the content in case if you are watching this on our youtube channel don't forget to click on like and uh, also provide any feedback or suggestions using comment section 
If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, make sure to subscribe and also click on notification icon so that you are notified whenever we publish content like this on our channel.